There is so much work to do in the spring that finding a way to do two things at once can really save some time. If mixing herbicides with fertilizer is one of those two jobs at once things on your farm, I'll share some tips to help it go smoothly in today's Iron Talk. Full disclosure here, we mix liquid fertilizer with pre-plant herbicides every year on our farm on thousands of acres, and yes, we've had trouble a couple of times in the past. However, we mix the two with full confidence today based on what we've learned, which is why I'm excited to share with you today these five steps to successfully mix herbicides and fertilizer. First, jar test. All you have to do is put your exact mixture in advance in a small clear jar, and this can help you avoid a large-scale mess in your sprayer. Second, herbicides may not mix well with straight fertilizer. It's best to mix some water into the solution first or dilute the herbicide with water before putting it in the tank. This helps the herbicide have something to bind to as fertilizer isn't always the best host. Also, have a jug of Convert on hand just in case you have any issues or better yet if you'd like to prevent issues by using a compatibility agent. Third point, warmer temperatures help nearly everything work better. So if you can keep fertilizer and herbicide in warm storage, if at all possible, it really makes a difference. Fourth, agitation throughout the whole process can help keep things in suspension. And fifth, don't let your spray tanks with blended products sit. Mix up only what you can spray right away. You can save some time and get two things done at once. Most pre-plant herbicides can be mixed with fertilizer. Just follow our five steps to avoid problems on your farm. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.